Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about one of the important topic in ecology about ecological succession. About ecological succession. Before we go into the topic, we have to learn certain important basics in ecology. What is ecology? Ernst Haeckel defined ecology as the study of relationship of organisms with their environment. That means ecology deals with the study of interactions among the organisms and between organisms with that of their surrounding physical or abiotic environment. And this ecology is of two types, you know, so at ecology and syn ecology. At ecology deals with a single species or a single population in relation to the environment. Well, as syn ecology, the world depicts, it deals with ecological communities. Here, regarding ecological hierarchy, what we call ecological organization, it consists of level, integrated levels. Hierarchy means its arrangement in a, in a series, in a graded series, okay? That means from low to high. Say, here, with respect to ecological hierarchy, or organization starts from cell, then the tissue, then the organ, the organ system, the organism, then the population, the community, then the ecosystem, the landscape, the biome, the aquasphere or biosphere. Say for instance, you know, starting from cell or tissues, then organ, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, the landscape, biome, then ecosphere. No, the 11 integrated levels in ecological organization, hierarchy what we call ecological organization, ecological hierarchy. Generally, ecology is concerned with four important levels of organization. Say the organism, the population, the community and biome. Because they determine the entire nature. Okay. These are the organ, this is what we call ecological hierarchy. That means 11 integrated levels. Cell, tissue, organ, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, landscape, biome and ecosystem. Here, for example, ecosystem, you know, ecosystem. Ecosystem is a functional state of ecosphere or biosphere. It deals with the interaction among the members of a community with that of their surrounding environment. Say, for example, you know, in the way of trophic structure through a well-defined trophic structure accompanied by a flow of energy. Say, the landscape. Landscape means a mosaic of ecosystem, different ecosystems. You know, sometimes they may overlap because ecosystems are actually, you know, they are not, uh, they, their boundaries are somewhat flexible, but they do have natural boundaries. Then, biome. Biome is nothing but is a larger community of plants and animals which occupies a vast or a massive area. For example, tropical rainforest, say the coniferous forest, say the desert, say the tundras, we can consider all these as biomes. Tropical rainforest biome. We cannot say pond as a biome. Pond is the best example for ecosystem. That means, okay, biome is a, a large community of plants and animals occupying a vast area. The ultimate ecosphere, that it is the highest level of for ecological organization. It is nothing but that part of the earth which supports life is ecosphere or biosphere. We can say that all biomes constituted under ecosphere or biosphere. Okay, these are about different basics of you know ecological that means or uh, hierarchy or organization. And there's there are certain important words like habitat. Habitat is nothing but the place where an organism lives, just like an address. But as niche, ecological niche, it depicts the functional status of an, of an organism in an, in an ecosystem. For example, it depicts a profession. Say whether the animal is a producer or consumer like that. Say with respect to habitat, it's like address, say address of a fish, <coughs> you can say pond or lake. 
like that okay these are all different inter the, the essential words and different basic concepts of ecology okay let us move to the main concept ecological succession you know the thing is from the basics we have learned that the ecosystem which is a functional status of an ecosphere consists of two components the biotic components and the abiotic components that means how they interact among themselves and how they interact with that of the surrounding environment what we call physical or abiotic environment the biotic factors the abiotic components broadly they can consider as producers consumers and decomposers but the thing is these bi biotic factors they are not static in any ecosystem they keep on changing over a period of time until they attain a state called climax state climax stage Yeah, ecological succession, the word it implied, succession. Smith, a famous ecologist, defined ecological succession as that means occurrence in a gradual, you know, orderly and predictable changes in the composition of communities towards the climax type. The most important words, you know, Smith defined ecological succession as gradual, orderly, and predictable changes in composition of communities composition of communities towards climax type towards climax type this is very important so for example just we imagine gradual say one leads to two then three then four gradual orderly one followed by two two followed by three predictable we knew that after one it will be two after two it will be three why 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 I mean, all these with respect to changes in the composition of one why the composition of the community should get changed because to attain a stable state what we call climax stage stable stage because for the very survival of the ecosphere, the ecological succession is very important. Because for the survival of ecosphere, stability is important. And for the stability is of important, succession. That means in the way of gradual, orderly and predictable in respect to changes in the community composition is must ensure. So it's like, you know, petrol to a vehicle. So for the successful running of ecosphere, ecological succession is a crux point. And it will take place in an orderly manner. We will discuss in, in a you know in a sequence. Say first we will discuss about attributes of succession, then the types of succession, then the process and the patterns. Okay. For example, you know, then first of all, what are the attributes? You know, attributes. What are the main constitutes? The most important abiotic component in an ecosystem in any abiotic uh, that means the abiotic component in, in any ecosystem is soil because soil is a hub of nutrients soil is a hub of microbes say for example so now there is a delicate balance among all the living organisms for example when we are live that means when I, when when we're alive we eat animals when we die the decomposers will decompose our body and we turn up into nutrients and the nutrients will be utilized by the plants and the plants that mean the producers again will be eaten by the consumers what we call food chain and food web that means there is a flow of nutrients at what we call thin delicate ecological balance so for all this soil the soil is a reservoir of nutrients now so here most important thing for ecological succession is the soil the soil for what we call attribute the most important the progressive development of soil is most important. The first important attribution is progressive development of soil. Progressive soil development. What is progressive soil development? Say, deeper the soil, higher the organic matter will be. And the differentiation will be. That means, categorization of soil, you know, O horizon, A horizon, B horizon, C horizon and bedrock. This is what we call progressive development of soil. It will not take place in one go in a sequential soil in a, in a sequential pattern what we call progressive development of soil all this to attain the mature state of the soil which is a feature of climax type i told you already you know 
attain the climax step is most important. So these are the different factors that drives towards the climax step. Here, progress development cell is most important. So for survival of any ecosystem, the, more, the two important things we have to keep in mind when we discuss this topic. The soil, number two, the organic content. Next important is organic content, you know. Organic matter, what we call. The rate of organic matter in a part in a, a per area in a community increases with the increase of the development of the soil and the community structure. What exactly it means? Say higher the soil formation and higher the organic matter will be. And in turn, the depending on the community structure. That means community structure means the debris will turn up will turn up into organic matter and higher the soil and higher the high, uh, higher the uh, organic matter accommodation will be. So what we call the rate of organic matter increase is invariably depends on the development of the soil. That means development of the soil, development of soil and community structure is very important. Very important. Then most important, you know, in economic succession there are two stages. Whether it is primary succession or second direction. We'll discuss what exactly primary and secondary. There are two stages. What we call Pioneer stage, the first stage, the last one, what we call stable or climax stage. That means here, yeah, the pioneer stage, pioneer, pioneer stage, last one, climax stage. Yes. Pioneer stage means small size of migrating organisms which establishes in a base area. They are the beginners. Pioneers, the world, they are the beginners, they establish in a particular uh, habitat, say for example, in a bear rock, in a xylozeli, or in an aquatic medium, in a hydrozeli, or in an optimum, what we call adequate amount of moisture in case of a mesozeli. That means they are the form, they are the beginners. And these pioneering population will subject to different changes. Sometimes the population may rise, sometimes the population may fall, that means up, ups and down, and sometimes they replace with one another. Because of interspecific and intraspecific competition for nutrients. Say, for example, who will win the race? Say, the longer living and the larger organism will beat the smaller and the shorter living organism. Because the most, the, the, yeah, the crux point for ecological succession is to attain stability. What we call climax state. For stability, the stable organisms is most important. That means the longer and the larger, but not smaller and the shorter. The most important thing, you know. Pioneer population, pioneer, pioneer population change until the climax stage. That means the pioneer population change, it, 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 it drives towards the climax change. That is very important, you know. For example, the, the best will survive and the, you know, the worst will get perished away. Likewise, it, it will occur in a successive fashion later on. It drives towards the climax stage. That means the relative stability is increased. Relative the, the relative stability, the relative stability, the relative stability of communities will increase over a period of time. That means A, B, C, D. B is better than A. For example, you know, A, B, C, D. Say B is better than A. C is better than B. D is better than D. Ultimately, attaining the climax state, what we call stable population, and most then another important attribution is species diversity. Species diversity. Species diversity increases from a simple early succession to much complex and stable community. That means, as the succession moves, as the time passes, the higher will the species diversity. That's it. And apart from it, there are other issues like you know above the plant. That means the density of above ground plants will increase and it determines the microclimate. So these are all different attributes of ecological succession. The most important thing is you know progress development of soil and organic matter. The, that means as the soil develop, as the soil become deeper, higher the organic matter can it can accommodate. Higher the organic matter accommodate means it can support a larger community structure. That's how it attains the stability. So these are the important attributes of ecological succession. Then the types, you know, primary and secondary, the most important things, you know, logical succession types.
primary and secondary primary and secondary primary succession means succession begins in an area which has not been previously occupied by any other community so it's like exclusively new succession previously there are no communities yeah second succession the word implied here yeah, succession begins in an area which has been previously occupied by that means earlier there is there is some communities are there the same has been removed and in that area a new succession has to occur when compared to primary succession the second succession is is rapid because already there is a already the communities are there that's the most important thing so that means it is primary and secondary what are the point is there will be the first stage will be pioneering stage okay the first stage is called pioneering stage pioneer pioneer rule now establishing or a individuals establishing population then another sub classification what we call autotrophic autotrophic no second grade of uh, equal succession it is first the second autotrophic and heterotrophic autotrophic heterotrophic in the sense you know okay, autotrophic succession predominantly occurs in an inorganic environment in an inorganic inorganic and the word implied it is it has been dominated by the autotrophs it takes place in an organic environment say a stream that has been polluted is the best example had heterotrophic where the heterotrophic organisms like bacteria and fungi may dominate in autotrophic dominant in heterotrophic dominant okay it's about the types of class you know ecological succession apart from this we have to discuss about the process how the succession will takes place A basic representation, you no? Know, how the succession takes place? Say, for example, you no, know, for, for understanding. Say it for example, you know, a simple representation of the class succession. Say it is time in years, time in years. Say it is a fifty and a hundred, one fifty, two hundred, two fifty and three hundred. Ecological it is a basic representation. We can simply say, no, gradual, orderly, then predictability. Here the community structure has been attaining a complex stage. Actually, it is a what we call climax stage, but it is stable complex stage. It attains a maximum stability at one point of time. Or we call climax stage. This is very important. And actually, the process what we call process. You know, process. Say as we discuss now, pioneering individual, whether it is autotrophic, that means whether it is primary or secondary succession, a small size of or or, a, or, or individuals or, or or organisms will what we call beginners. They establishes in a base area. For example, a bedrock. Or a wind-blown sand in case of zero zero, or in aquatic environment in case of hydro zero. They are the beginners, and there are certain prerequisite factors to become a pioneer. Say, for example, you know, the pioneer should be smaller population size. 
because uh, their requirement of nutrients should be low and they should be able to survive under a low nutrient level and they should have the capacity to acquire the nutrients and they should be dynamic to face the interspecific and intraspecific competition that should be the characteristic features of pioneering and these pioneering population as we have discussed now they gradually undergo you know sequential changes you know for example you know, the first stage then ultimately then the set of stages ultimately the climax stage say the best one replaces the that means replacement is most important the best one replaces the, the the less best or worst one over a period of time and at that ultimate leads to ecological that means the climax stage or which is the most stable population that means the stable community at the end okay it's about the process then regarding the patterns you know pattern depending on the kind of habitat we, we can say depending on the kind of habitat there are you know three different ways zero zil or zirak zirak hydrozil or hydrat then mesozil or mesa zero zil or zirak hydrozil or hydrat and mesozil that means depending on the kind of habitat ecological succession are of three types okay zero zil the world divide okay, the ecological succession is taking place in bare rocks or wind blown sand or any other similar areas what you got is that means terrestrial uh, uh, nature okay but as hydrozil it takes place in an aquatic environment mesozil mesozil takes place in adequate amount of moisture where that means in places where there is adequate amount of moisture but when compared to the above two it is literally in a shorter period of time you know let us discuss the most important uh, zero zero you know in, in, in zero zero you know zero zero the different stages i told you now will takes place in a sequence say for example you know say the lichen stage the here yeah, the the most important lichens you know crustose lichens and folios lichens crustose and folios moss stage herbaceous stage shrub stage ultimately climax stage told you now in a sequence the stage will take place in sequence in orderly manner the first the lichen stage the crustose and folios lichens that means the crustose lichens are the pioneers crustose lichens are the pioneers like rhizocarpus and rhizodina so the folios lichens the folio the word might have a leaf like thallus the folios lichens i will tell you how they are placed okay then the moss moss stage then the herbaceous stage and the shrub and the climax okay these are about different stages of zero zen say how they they start say the lichen stage the lichen the first the crustose lichens crustose lichen you know rhizocarpus rhizodina and the folios lichens parmalina that means they the, these are the representatives of the same okay the crustose lichens are the beginners for example say they start in a bare rock why they are the beginners because they have the ability to resist that means to adapt to the extreme desiccation because of extreme dryness then when there is a rain season they absorb water plenty and they start you know as of time passes they 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 decay and lead to soil formation that means the crustose lichens gradually replace the folios lichens like parmalia okay these folios lichens they have leaf like thallus okay and these folios lichens again as the time passes they they, they grow decay and lead to formation of soil higher the organ is that means the higher the advancement of the organisms higher the soil formation will be higher the soil and higher the accommodability of the soil with respect to organic content 
then higher the organ content it allowing the sufficient uh, uh, conditions for the next advanced animal that's how that means the next advanced organ that's how the succession will take place okay these clusters for uh, the repel the folios then ultimately here some animals like you know mites mites spiders will come here will appear then after lichen stage you know the next stage is moss stage moss stage moss the tortula like you know in mass stage initially scattered patches of tortula that means they are one kind of masses they appear they gradually you know higher advanced masses will 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 appear so like finaria you know like finaria finaria polytrichum finaria polytrichum that means the point is simple in lichen stage, the clusters be prepared by folios and masses. Then, when the when the lichen stage gives to masses, the first the scattered masses will come. Then, say for some tortula, they will they will replace the finaria polytrichum, what we call advanced masses. This only the point is simple. One replaces A, B, B replaces A, C replaces B, B replaces C. Likewise, the replacement so as to attain the climax stage is a stable population. And this is stable that then and then he they just have to relative stability. Okay. This is higher stable than uh, the previous ones. And apart from this, regarding animals, you know, different spider, di that means the diversification will take place. Different mites, spiders, you know, springtails, tardigrades will come here. Say tardigrades, tardigrades, springtails. Apart from mites and spiders will come. Then the third, third stage, what we call herbaceous stage. As the mass stage, that means as the time passes, the mass they grow, they die, they decay, and leads to for, and they lead to creation of condition for the next advanced animals called herbaceous. Say, for example, annual weeds. Annual weeds will come. Then followed by biennials. Then ultimately perennial, perennial grasses. Say annual weeds replace the biennial, then perennial grasses. As this happens, if we put animal, the nematodes, the ants, they all come. So it's like, you know, one replaced by other. That means, as the time passes, as the succession proceeds. After herbaceous stage, the most, then the shrub stage, you know, the fourth stage, okay, this is one, two, and three. The fourth shrub stage. Shrub stage, you know, like zizipus. Zizipus, acacia. That means perennial weedy plants they come. That means the, the herbaceous, it allows the conditions for the development of next shrubs like acacia zizipus. Then and the ultimate leads to you know climax stage. Initially, you know, the no the weedy trees they are they are they, are st they go standard growth and sparsely distributed. Later onwards, as the condition favor become favorable, they become you know attending of what we call close massive closely arranged you know in the form of strata canon for example canon canopy okay canopy these all these are the div, uh, features of a climax stable stage so ultimately you know this leads to climax stage what we call fifth stage okay first the lichen stage the crustose what by folio then the moss is up in the torture like then followed by you know then the higher high the moss is like pinaria polytrichum and the herbaceous the first annual weeds binding and pregnant gases then the shrubs, the shrubs will be placed like acacia, the zippers, then climax. The first, they will be the space they distributed. Then, when the condition becomes favorable, they ultimately become in a closely arranged climax people state. Climax forest, simply called. That's how the like, zero zero succession takes place. Okay. Regarding hydrozeal. Okay. Okay. Hydrozeal, okay. These, these are the similar but a, a bit different. Hydrozeal. The word implied it takes place in aquatic environment. Okay. For example, the best representation of like this submerged plant stage. Submerged plant stage. Like you know, pot, like for example, ceratophyllum. Ceratophyllum. Potomogeton that leads to you know floating stage 
like in floating stage again up to times you know first initially the rooted plants they come with floating leaves on water like you know trapa nymphia you know the trapa nymphia later they become free floating like in a pistia lemna free floating free floating like you know pistia lemna then after floating the, there will be this type of reed swamp stage reed swamp stage reed swamp stage reed swamp it's you know it's like you know when they attain that means when water becomes shallow they, they it, the stage is called reed swamp so i will tell you what exactly it is okay like you no know, typha sagittaria then the marsh meadow stage marsh meadow stage and ultimately woodland stage woodland stage marsh meadow stage means it's said just okay say second considered as a pond first what we call pioneers are submerged plants i told you now any succession the first one will be pioneer the submerged plant say saltophyllum potamogeton later they will be replaced by floating stage floating plant stage 